Good day and welcome to Health Tech Weekly, the show on technology that helps create a healthier you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. Before we go ahead and get on into this week's health tech item, I want you to make sure you head over and check out our site over at htweekly.com for links to everything covered in this episode, plus contact information and more. Also, don't forget Health Tech Weekly is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here at tpn.tv. Um, hi, uh, Dr. Uh, Spencer and um, Caroline. It's good to talk to you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And we'll start with you, doctor. Um, tell us a little bit about what genetic testing is. There's a lot of uh, information and misinformation out there about genetic testing. So what are we specifically talking about here? Um, genetic testing is a medical test that you can do in a variety of ways to see if you're a carrier for a genetic disease that could be passed on to your child. Uh, so for example, uh, with J-Screen, which is why I'm here today to talk with you, um, J-Screen is an at-home um, saliva test. So no blood test is needed. You don't have to go to the doctor's office. They send you a test at home. You uh, collect a saliva sample. It's sent back in and they screen you for 80 different genetic diseases. These are all uh, genetic diseases that can be passed on to your child, even if you have no family history at all for this. Um, so whether or not you have no children or you have one or two unaffected children, you still may be at risk of having a child with a genetic disease. And so tests like J-Screen uh, help identify couples who are at risk of these genetic diseases. Okay. So, Caroline, I assume you've used um, genetic testing in your um, experience as an individual um, and, and parent. Tell us a little bit about your, what you um, found out through genetic testing. Sure. Before my husband and I got married, we both knew that we should be screened for Jewish genetic diseases. So we both went to our doctors to ask to be screened, and they both tested us for what they thought was a complete panel of diseases. Our daughter Eden was born in August. Uh, our daughter Eden was diagnosed with mucolipidosis type 4, or ML4 for short, in August 2009 when she was 18 months old. It took us 18 months before we could actually get a diagnosis for her, and we ran her through a battery of tests when she was 15 months old. We took her to a neurologist who took an MRI of her brain and he told us he didn't know what was wrong with Eden, but we should be prepared for a lifetime of pain. We then went to see a geneticist who was finally able to diagnose Eden with ML4, which was one of the genetic diseases that we could have been tested for. So my husband and I created jscreen.org to help other families avoid being in the same situation that we are and to educate them to be tested before having children. You know, as a parent of, of a child with special needs and, and, and the challenges, even though it's not a genetic disorder, uh, I, I can only imagine how frustrating that is. We went through a long period of diagnosing um, one of my daughter's issues and, and just can only imagine how stressful that must have been for you. So this is something you've created to help other parents avoid this kind of stress. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we really believe that by helping other families, at least they have the knowledge to know what it is they're going forward. And if they are both carriers of the same disease, they can make a choice of how they want to go forward with having children. So, Dr. Spencer, what is uh, well, some of the initiatives that are being put forward? You know, if, if, if someone finds out that, for instance, they are carriers for a genetic disease. Uh, so if someone finds out they're a carrier for genetic disease, they, they have uh, options for building their family. One option is to do uh, what Caroline and her husband did, which is to do in vitro fertilization with um, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. So uh, this is where uh, embryos are made and then tested before implantation to see if they are going to uh, have the disease that you're looking for. Um, when you do this um, and you conceive, the chance of you having a baby uh, with this disease is less than 1%. Uh, whereas if you uh, try to conceive naturally and you're both carriers, there's a 25% chance of having a baby with the disease. So that's one option. Um, another option is to uh, get pregnant and do uh, testing in the late uh, end of the first trimester to determine if the baby is affected by the disease. And then you can inform your pediatrician about it. Um, 
And um, you know, some people also elect to use uh, donor sperm or donor egg to conceive. Um, so they don't do any genetic testing, but they eliminate the risk um, by uh, not having the mutation um, uh, in that germline. So this is really um, frontline technology here that allows people to make informed decisions um, about whether or not to uh, continue uh, traditional conception and, and pregnancy options or if they go with adoption or other opportunities. It really opens up a lot of doors for them. That's right, and I, I think that's what genetic screening is about. It's um, about giving people information so they can make choices. You don't have to take any action that you would do um, normally. Um, so this doesn't change anything um, for people, for their value systems or what they believe is right and wrong. This is more about providing um, options and education so that they can then make informed choices moving forward. It's fantastic. And where can people find out more information? Because I, I, I talk to a lot of healthcare professionals and consumers in the course of my programs here, and I'd love to know uh, how they can find out more about this. You know, I'm here to talk about JScreen, um, and JScreen has a, a great website with a lot of information. Um, people can go to jscreen.org, learn about the tests that are available in the panel, and order a kit, and then also speak with a genetic counselor. And that's important, isn't it, to have the genetic counseling after the fact um, so that they Absolutely. make an informed decision? Yeah, I mean, the very important part of genetic testing is understanding uh, what the tests are part of that and uh, what testing positive or negative means with that test. So uh, Caroline, you know, you ha your, your daughter is obviously ha has some medical problems. Um, what's the prognosis for her? Sure, thank you for asking. Um, Eden is six years old now. She has about three hours of therapy a day after school. She's working hard to learn new signs to communicate, but the reality is, is she's never gonna walk and talk like other children. She's not going to go to first grade. She's not going to go to college or get married and have children of her very own, which is why we feel that testing before having children and knowing um, whether or not you and your partner are carriers of the same disease will help you ensure that you can have a healthy family of your very own. You know, it's very inspiring, Caroline, to see how you've taken the challenges your family has faced and turned it into something very positive to help other parents. And I just want to applaud you for doing that, taking that initiative. And um, thank you both for taking some time to talk to my audience about it. Thank you. Thank you. For having me. That's going to wrap up this episode of Health Tech Weekly. Make sure you follow up over at our website, htweekly.com, for more information on this and all of our episodes. There are additional resource links links to trusted resources for living a healthier lifestyle, and a whole lot more. If you have a comment on this week's episode, I hope you'll get back in touch with me. You can either leave a comment over at htweekly.com in the comment links for this, this and other articles, or shoot me an email to podmedic at mac.com. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the Podmedic. I'll be back soon with more health technology for you. In the meantime, remember, improving your health takes small, simple steps all of which over time add up to a healthier you. Why don't you take a healthier step today?